Well guys, this is it, the conclusion to the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, and we now look at the last three games, the Street Fighter 3 Trilogy. Let's get started with Street Fighter 3 New Generation. Street Fighter 3 New Generation was released for the arcades in March of 1997 with a Dreamcast release of June 19th, 2000. This is the first Street Fighter game that utilized the CPS3 system board. This allowed for more elaborate 2D graphics. With all that said and done, what can be said about the characters? The character roster took quite a cut and only left Ryu and Ken. To be fair, the subtitle New Generation means that there are new characters. The leader is Alex, an American fighter who is out to get Gil, the game's main antagonist. Other new characters include Dunley, an African-British boxer, Elena, a princess from Kenya who practices Kaporia and has legs so long they make Stacy Keebler jealous, Ibuki, a teenage ninja in training, Necro, a Russian who was kidnapped and experimented on by Gil's organization, Oro, a hermit who binds one arm behind his back, Sean, a Brazilian martial artist who becomes Ken's apprentice, Yun and Yang, twins who guard their hometown, and Gil, the main antagonist who wants to turn the earth into a utopia. To me, it looks like Gil needs a decent pair of pants. Can only imagine him walking into a men's clothing section. <sighs> they don't have pants in my size. Anyways, gameplay hasn't changed much from the others. Is there anything new that hasn't been introduced? Well, sort of. Parrying allows the player to block attacks without taking damage, but performing it is easier said than done. What's also new is Super Arts. So what makes Super Arts different from Super Combos? The answer is not much. Like before, players can pick one of three super arts. Each differs based on how long the gauge is and how much each art can be stocked up. And no art is better than the others. What's also changed is that you fight five characters. Once that's done, you fight Yun in the sixth fight. So technically, this would make the game the shortest of the bunch. But there's a bit of a catch. For example, if you get to Gil as Ryu, lose and choose another character, you don't start at Gil. Instead, you fight against a character that hasn't been beaten. That's kind of a cruel thing to do. This does make things a little more difficult, but not unbearable. Overall, Street Fighter 3 New Generation is a solid game with a few new changes and introduction to new characters, both well received and not so. This game gets 3.5 stars out of 5. Now we move on to Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. The game was released in arcades on September 30th, 1997. Like before, not much has changed except that there are a few new characters. First and foremost is Hugo, also known as Andor from Final Fight. For those who aren't familiar with Hugo or Andor or whatever, he's based on professional wrestler Andre the Giant. See the resemblance? Urien also makes his debut and is the younger brother of Gil. Great, another character that's in desperate need of a pair of pants. Uh, they don't have anything in my size. For starters, you fight eight characters before facing a character-specific final character. But this is where the final battle gets interesting. If certain conditions are met, you'll face off against Akuma instead. But wait, there's more. If more conditions are met, you'll face off against Shin Akuma, a more powerful version of Akuma. That's quite a task. While the bonus round does return, it's not the same. Instead of breaking barrels, a car, or flaming barrels, you have a chance to parry basketballs. There isn't much else to talk about. Street Fighter 3 Second Impact gets 3.5 stars out of 5. And to conclude the Street Fighter 30th anniversary is Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. This game was released in the arcades on May 12, 1999. With an online edition released for PlayStation 3 on August 23, 2011, and on Xbox 360 on August 24, 2011. New features this time is something called player evaluations. You'll be graded on offense, defense, tech, and extra. The scale goes from E to MSF. Just like any Street Fighter game, we get more characters to play as. While we get five new playable characters, Chun-Li is the only veteran. Joining the roster is Makoto, a student who wants to restore her late father's dojo to its former glory, Q, an unknown figure, Remy, a French saboteur who wants revenge on his father for abandoning him and his sister, and Twelve, a prototype assigned to hunt down Necro. Chun-Li's story this time revolves around a missing orphan she's caring for. This time you fight ten opponents before facing Gil once again, except if you're playing as Gil, you'll be facing Alex as the final boss. Unlike previous installments, you get to choose who you want to fight. Between matches, you go to the bonus round with the return of the car smash, and you get to parry basketballs once again. Overall, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is a solid game, but doesn't bring anything we haven't seen before. This game gets 3 stars out of 5. 
So with that said, what's my overall opinion? If you haven't gotten the chance to play any of these games, go get it on Steam, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or Nintendo Switch. But if you already own a copy of any of these titles, stick to those games. The collection as a whole gets 3.5 stars out of 5.